another local variable dot c earlier in the class, we saw how the assembly looks when you're accessing an array local variable. In array local variable two dot c, we're going to add some zeroization to an initialization of an array. And what does this lead to? Well, this leads to a new assembly instruction, repstos. So what is repstos? This is the repeat store string. Now this is actually the stos instruction, which is a store to string with the rep instruction prefix in front of it. So the rep prefix means let's do a stos over and over and over and over again. So any assembly instruction which supports the rep prefix, which is not all of them, just a small subset, when it tries to do the stos assembly instruction, it's going to do it CX number of times. So CX, meaning CX in 16-bit, ECX in 32-bit, or RCX in 64-bit, is used as a counter to basically say, I want to do a stos operation CX number of times. Each time the operation is done, CX is decremented by one, and when CX finally equals zero, then this stos operation stops and it moves on to the next assembly instruction. In this case, it either stores one, two, four, or eight bytes at a time to a destination. So this DI register, so there's one form that takes only a single byte and stores it at DI. That's more for 16-bit form. We don't care as much about that. It'll store to DI whatever is in AL. We care more about the form that stores one, two, four, or eight bytes at a time to DI, meaning DI, EDI, RDI, with either AL if it's one byte at a time, or AL, AX, EAX, or RAX if it's two, four, or eight bytes at a time. So it's basically going to take the value from this register, let's say it's RAX, and it's going to copy it to RDI. After it's copied that value into RDI, it's going to actually increment the register by one, two, four, eight bytes, however many bytes were copied, so that when this repeated store happens, it can basically do, you know, one byte, one byte, one byte, one byte, one byte, one byte, all consecutively. So the net result is that a repstos instruction is effectively a memset in a box, except that there's some setup that has to occur first. First, you need to set DI to the destination. You need to set AL or AX to the value to store some number of times, and you need to set the CX to the number of times that you want to store the value. So I was just talking in generalities about the different forms for different 16, 32, 64 bit modes. Let's talk in specificities to the version that we're gonna see here. So basically it is going to store one, two, four, or eight bytes at a time to RDI, so the memory pointed to by RDI, with the value from AL, AX, EAX, or RAX, based on whether it's one, two, four, or eight bytes that's being copied. And then it will increment RDI by one, two, four, or eight bytes based on the number of bytes that's being copied at a time. But just as a reminder, this assembly instruction has baked into it a store to the memory pointed to by RDI. RDI is a callee save register, so this is going to mean there's probably going to be some need to save and restore RDI before the repstos assembly instruction uses it. All right, with all that said, now it is time for you to step through the assembly and make sure you understand all the various components that are being used in it.